Prince Charles appeared to have tears in his eyes as he listened to harrowing reports from Ukraine. The Prince of Wales and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, started their two-day tour to Ireland with a visit to Waterford on Thursday, March 24. There, they met members of the local Ukrainian community and had the chance to hear more about what is happening in their war-torn country. Charles spoke with Oxner Zadalia, a Ukrainian-born woman who has been living in Ireland for two decades and reveals her brother is back home protecting his land. Recalling her conversation with Prince Charles, M. Zadalia told Town and Country, I thought I saw the tears in his eyes. Innocent people dying, kids dying and actually yeah, I saw that sadness and tragedy on his face. She added, it's just amazing to have the opportunity to bring that message to him and to just say thank you so much for the big support. Follow the latest updates on the royal family here it was so nice to get the opportunity today to bring the strong message that Ukraine needs help. Ukraine needs help. In Waterford, Prince Charles denounced again the Russian invasion, launched by Vladimir Putin on February 24, as a brutal aggression. Speaking to the city hall, he said, further afield, and especially in the past few weeks, our thoughts, and I am sure your thoughts and prayers, ladies and gentlemen, however inadequate they may be, are with the people of Ukraine as they continue to face such uncertainty and brutal aggression. It has been most moving to meet members of Waterford's Ukrainian community here today and to learn of the actions that your county is taking to support them. Such times as we are living through bring into sharp relief the importance of peace and friendship, which history tells us we can too easily take for granted. The Prince of Wales first mentioned the ongoing crisis in Ukraine on March 1, when he delivered the Queen's letters patent to Southend on Sea, officially making it England's newest city. On the following day, Ash Wednesday, Charles and Camilla headed to the Ukrainian Catholic Cathedral in London. During the highly emotional visit, they were joined by representatives from humanitarian organizations the Prince of Wales is connected with as well as the Ukrainian ambassador, Vadim Brister Iko, and his wife Inna. The Duchess was spotted hugging Elms Brister Iko, before telling her, We are praying for you. A few days later, Prince Charles met some of the refugees from Ukraine and Afghanistan supported by the Holy Trinity Brompton program. Prince Charles and Camilla's arrival to Waterford comes after a two-day visit to Northern Ireland. In County Tyrone, they were welcomed by hundreds of schoolchildren and well-wishers lined up to catch a glimpse of them. Their first main stop in Northern Ireland was to the Superstars Café, a centre that helps to train and provide employment for 20 young people with learning difficulties. In Northern Ireland, the pair also visited Belfast. Among their main engagements in the city, they visited the Titanic Belfast exhibition. Prince Charles also headed to the Marie Curie Hospice in Belfast to mark the second anniversary since the first lockdown was enforced. On the other hand, Camilla met staff at the BBC's Belfast Broadcasting House.